all right youtube we're back for another gameplay another coaching session and um yeah with beef hammer again last time we kind of went through his rotation then hard point and um maybe why he was going for scrap time a bit too much and maybe what you could have done to avoid it this time we're going to try to go through a different kind of a uh just a different angle and let's see how you how you approach this stuff and maybe what we could do better okay there's two down from the team you spot the third you spot him on the right Okay, straight away, one thing I've noticed is kind of what we spoke about last game. It's just a lack of fluidity in your movement. I feel like I want to see a bit more like dolphin dives, a bit more slides. Just get a little bit more kind of faster with your stuff. Especially when you're taking a route like this. It's like, look at that. You did your first dolphin dive. So I think you did it when there was a purpose, right? To avoid snipers. But you want to just be a bit more natural with it. Okay. And there's so many times right here where you're going around, and again, going around corners. So there's two things straight away that you, is carried on from last time. I know you haven't changed, but the fact that it's a, it's a recurring theme tells me that you might do it quite a lot jumping around corners what you do a lot of the time is you go around the corner and i think you leave it to chance you just like you flip a coin and you hope you you know you hit heads right there look at this if the guy was pre-aiming you you would you're just you're not ready for the extra gunfire so look, look at this okay as you go around the corner if he was pre-aiming you from there he has the sight on you so you again you need to be shouldering more you need to be jumping around corners more abusing your sliding stuff like stuff that we've learned before and we've kind of gone through i want to see you use a bit more okay now right there so you see how you jump around the corner mm -hmm. that's perfect but you want to like you should do it now as well so again it's about not doing it 50 50 it's trying to get that 50 to 100 percent of the time so there's a perfect example you did it here this is this is great because if the guy was there you were able to camera him so can you see what i mean that like, you know what you're doing it's about really implementing it okay do you, do you agree with that? Do you realize, okay, sometimes I jump, sometimes I don't? Yeah. So here I'm so I feel like, boring. That's why I stopped. I yeah. Where, I, did, I heard footsteps. I just didn't know where. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, okay. I was a little bit unlucky. Okay. At least you're good to get away with your life there. 20 seconds left. Okay. So when you're in this a little bit, this kind of sticky scenario, one thing you got to be careful of is um, I would only push out this area if my teammates are holding spawns. Because if they're not holding spawns, what happens is you could end up flipping the spawn. So you went all the way to the right, which is okay. But if you play here too long, if you stay here too long and your teammates don't have the map control, mm -hmm. if your teammates are pushed up like this, what could happen is before you know it, they could spawn here. And before you know it, they have P2 control. Got so it. it's very, very, be very careful that when you're pushing up these areas, you are being very, very careful of the spawns. So 15 seconds gone through. Again, if you're going to dolphin, I try to hit the ledge like we've kind of worked through just so that you have your gun up a bit more ready. So when you're hitting the dolphin dive, I don't mind the dolphin dive. I personally prefer it. But remember, that's it's very late. You can tell it's very late. You want to hit your legs off the ledge so that when you land, you're, you're ready for the gunfight. Because like here, what happened is you landed, you're just not ready for a gunfight. But this is good. I like this. Like the fact that you backed off here, this is good. But the only reason you backed off, in my opinion, is because you had to reload. I don't think you would have backed off normally. No, um, normally I would, I, I, would ego, I would ego child that all day. <laughs> like, I would ego child that all day. <laughs> yeah. So you can see the fact that you had to reload actually helped you out and it was an accident. So what that tells me is, okay, let's try making it on purpose next time. <laughs> let's try doing what we just did actually on purpose. So now you're going to go through. Okay, cool. 15 seconds left that's fine your team has got a couple of kills this is your time to get ml mixy on the right here so your team is getting kills you know they're going to be on the right hand side i'm more aware now of what i was scared of before is your teammates pushed up you guys have all pushed up no one's behind this line and now they're actually gonna have spawns so you being by yourself here as you're running through i'm gonna let me flip the teams you guys are red okay just to make the arrows okay. easier you got you guys are red here okay so right now what you're doing is you guys are all kind of pushed out a little bit too much in my opinion look at this you got one guy here your hair so what you're doing is you're probably giving them spawns right because look where you are like logically they can't spawn here because you're you're standing there your other teammates standing here so how can they spawn tennis you know what i mean yeah so right now it looks like okay they might have spawns so what i'm worried about is the assault rifle player number three comes around this corner and he guns you because you're standing in the open so that's what i'm worried about so as you go through i'm very very worried about this the player here let's see how you approach this i like the dolphin have so you use the dolphin have a lot more so you guys have got away with it they haven't spawned here it looks like they spawned tennis school side which is somehow quite fortunate for you guys to be honest but you're doing your thing you're doing good so what happens yeah they spawned they might have not spawned tennis school they might have spawned right here or the back but no one did the, the long right it looks like they probably they probably kind of went through middle they went through the front so in terms of their play it was pretty bad from them but yeah you go through i like the dolphin knife you go through again you're going to try to make the most out of it you spot one take him out good stuff good stuff 
you're by yourself okay this is good so what you're doing is again this is great play in terms of your learning you're thinking right because i'm by myself i'm just going to hold the spawns so you're kind of holding the back lane there which i i actually really like um one problem is you know they're on your right these guys are so bad bro you better fry these guys who's the one who was the one violating you Reef, Who who's the one vamp, who's talking shit to you sky. vamp sky <laughs> The guy just killed your vamps. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna find vamps. So let's see what he does. Let's see. Let's see how you win your matchups there. Just as a heads up again, um, one little small thing you can do here is mm -hmm. if you go behind the truck on your left, like if you go behind this truck on your left, you don't really need to leave your head glitch. You can just watch over because it's such a nice spot without actually kind of over committing. You see right now you're quite over committing like you're one shot you're going through and this is how the guy kind of killed you yeah. it's just because you know you're getting a bit aggressive on it and um sometimes it's quite dangerous but that's fine you guys go through you get a nice little three piece so far so good and no complaints you spawn here what that tells me is they're all gonna come from this side of the map they're all gonna come from this side because you guys are spawning here you guys are spawning around here yeah. they're gonna all come from this side of the map which is honestly my favorite setup i love that setup when they all spawn there that's perfect for me so the only reason why i didn't hop behind that truck that you were saying I'm yeah, always scared yeah. for it to blow up. That's that. Okay, it. that's fine. Um, because uh, that's fine. when I run an SMG, I don't run a. Uh, yeah. I don't. I trophy. Don't run no, that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I tried. Now, what just happened there? Yeah, exactly. What just happened there was a lack of movement quick enough. So you see right there again, it's just about the dive quick enough because you you see how like how long you're taking. Yeah. Now this is so important. It's not about the lack of movement on the hill. This is. I'm actually glad that you die like this so we can really go about this because if this happens a few times a game. All these little things. Let me show you something. If your movement gets you three deaths a game, your centering gets you five deaths a game. If the fact that you're not um, jumping around a corner gets you three deaths a game, that's like 11 deaths that you got when you didn't need to. Does that make sense? So it's not about, oh, he got you one death. No, if it adds up over the game with the other element, that's when you can really be in trouble. So right here is a perfect example. Look what you do. Off the spawn, you get the knife out. No sliding, no dolphin diving, no through. So you see right there, imagine you slid or so just something a little bit quicker. Now, this example is not the best because you spawn quite close. But can you see my principle? Like right here, imagine if it was a little bit longer. Like you're still not sliding and dolphin diving. So you're still getting there. Like you're taking a bit longer. So when you get to this little jump here, if you were like a second earlier, you would have got away with it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And my main point, obviously here, because you used your tactical sprint, it was okay. But if you started off here, you still would have done the same thing. You still wouldn't have slid. You still wouldn't have proned. So my point is, if this route takes, you know, 12 seconds and you could have done it in eight seconds you would have been able to dolphin have a cross and you would have saved that extra second so those milliseconds is what got you caught here you see right there that got you caught that's by milliseconds now those milliseconds how could you have saved them well when you were standing here maybe if you maybe if you slid maybe if you dolphin have once earlier do you know what i mean just those little little decisions are going to get you around the map quicker and prevent you from dying to your nemesis vamp sky otherwise your nemesis is going to kill you bro we don't want your nemesis to kill you 35 seconds what are you going to do here okay you're going to go through the front you're probably going to try making a play you spot one jump around the corner okay that's fine want to see you jump around a little bit more okay interesting interesting now this is very interesting. The reason why this is interesting, everyone watching, this is very, very interesting to me. You are here, okay? Yep. You, you, you push through. Now, I would always tell you to go for spawns, but I've said this as well in the past. I don't like going for spawns at certain times. Now, right now, with 25 seconds left, realistically, you guys have probably one good push left as a four before you're going to start rotating right yeah so there's not really a need for you to back off and go for spawns because first of all it takes longer if there was you know 35 to 40 45 seconds left i would say okay cool but with 25 seconds what you're doing now is look at this your teammates pinching if you should probably just go through them with the front or because look what you're doing you're going to the back right yeah so the, the only i was just it's thinking like, the only thing i was thinking was uh all right i have one more push my teammates push through the store let me push through yeah. the back door or the backside, yeah. right? And that way it's kind of like a little pinch versus, oh, we both pushed through the store. Oh, no. Some guy was waiting Perfect. in the back and then guns us both at the same time. No, no, I, I agree with that. But you're forgetting one thing, though. When you're doing that, I, I agree. Forget spawns, okay? If this was the last hard point in the world, and this was like there was 20 seconds after the game, I would say I understand what you're doing. But the main reason I'm saying it isn't because of the... I agree with you pinching, okay? But the point is, when you flank you're not only pinching you're giving your setting up for spawns here when the new hardpoint is here 
they're gonna that you don't want to spawn here. Do you know what I mean? This is the worst spawn for P3. I got you. Because you're going through a deadly zone. So it's not only about the road. This is why it gets a little bit complicated, right? Because it's not only about the rotation. So if you were just going purely off the the hard point, I'll say I understand you. But because I'm talking about spawns as well, that's when it gets a little bit complicated. Because if you guys get the kill, say you get the two piece there, you get 20 seconds, you are now spawning here. And now you're like, okay, shit. Now they've got P3. You know what I mean? I got so you. it gets a little bit mixy. So that's when it's like, oh, okay. Now there's actually more. It's not just one thing you have to look at. There's many factors you have to kind of contribute to. The, um, you go through quite unlucky. I mean, either way, you guys end up dying. You guys a good nade though. You managed to take out the truck. And now you should be good to go though because 15 seconds. Okay, let's see. Rotate. Perfect. This is good. You're rotating. This is what I want to see. Now, looking at the mini map, I know as a fact, you know, you're not alone, right? I was literally going to say, uh, I, I know somebody's going to be rotating. Somebody's going to be here. So you have to be very careful. You've got to play with your gun. You've got to play with your equipment. You've got to play credit. You've got to play smart. You've got to use different factors here. I'm not sure if you saw him, but you should have definitely expected someone to be up here. This guy, like, these guys are just so deaf, bro. <laughs> I did not hear you right here. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. When I, when I went up there and I killed him, I was like, oh... Because I, I didn't know he was, okay. I didn't see him. So like how you saw, yeah. how you saw him or you can see it through yeah. the video replay. I didn't see him. Yeah. I didn't know he was there until I okay. got up the stairs. Yeah. I would always expect someone to be there. But this is, okay, at least you're, you're holding the hill. So now, okay, right here. This is where, what you should be doing now. This is good though. You made a good play. You rotated. So, so far, so good. Last game, you won't rotate. This game, you will rotate. What did that tell me? You still understand the concept. It's just by implementing it, okay? What I would say to you now is with your equipment, Try to block this danger zone because let's say you're number one on the hill. You know that the, the blue team's going to spawn here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're red. You know that this danger zone, they're going to push through. They kind of have to. So if you can chuck a stun over and a nade over and just try to delay them, that's what you want to do here. So even if you take your time and chuck one and then the other, that's what you should try to be doing here. Your teammates get a two-piece. Perfect. Good stuff. There you go. You're watching the ladder. Good. Great game awareness. You realize it's on your right. This is good. This is really good stuff. Uh, one thing I would say is just definitely using the equipment more. Definitely, definitely. And just start. You know, there's no reason why you shouldn't have used your equipment here, okay? Yep. Uh, so when they're when they're coming up uh, orange, yeah. would you have just thrown yeah. the nade in front of the door and just that way it just delayed them a little bit? Or like as far as using the equipment? Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So even if your equipment doesn't do anything, at least you know in your head, okay, no one's there. So what I would have done is I would have, like an optimal situation, I would have chucked a stun, waited about five seconds six seconds and then chucked a nade that way in my head i've covered 10 seconds of ground and i mean 10 seconds is a is a pretty long time in a harper by yourself that's pretty good or if you're gonna hold it i'd still want to use it too much before i die it's just about using on the aggression or just kind of like just shouldering and stuff right here the door's open a bit unfortunate i mean i think hmm, how could you have won this one I think I probably would say just stra strafe in stand or maybe like be a bit more aware, maybe shut the door, maybe move a little bit, prone jump, just a little bit more movement to make it harder. There's no reason why you should just come out for free and get the kill on you. I think that was a little bit unlucky, but it's not it's not the end of the world. I'm just trying to see how I can help you in that gunfight. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, I don't, I that's, that's I don't a gunfight, know. That's a gunfight that. I didn't know what, uh, what I could have done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's just a gunfight. Let's go back actually, because I want to see what you could have done here. Because the only other thing I was so thinking I think after the fight was, or a after the gunfight was over, I was like, oh man, like I could have, because my teammate called out that uh that he died orange. So the only thing I was thinking yeah. I could have done is I could have dove off, pop my daddy, and then climb back up the ladder. Or just, you know, pop my daddy and just said, screw it, I'm gone with my life. That would life, have been the and, worst you know, play. That would have been the worst play. If you jumped off and jumped off the ladder, that would have been terrible because he would have just had the angle on you. You've got the advantage right now. I think that's really like, I don't think you need to do that. What you need to do here, in my opinion, is think, right, if you had a 1v1, knowing what you know, okay, every mechanic we've gone through, mm -hmm. what do you think you could have done? In a 1v1, what could you have done? You could jump shot, drop shot, throw and double jump, okay? They're three pretty popular mechanics, right? Yeah. I think right here, what you could have done is just, you could have stood and just kept on, like, doing the, like, drop shot. Like, you know how people are kind of snake standing up? Like, they go prone, they stand, they, they pre-aim, they strafe. I think right here, what you did is, because you stood on the floor kind of in the open, you allowed him to jump out the corner and camera you. Now, bearing in mind, this is still a hard gun for him. I think what you could have done, if you stood here and strafed it, I think you just give yourself a little bit more of an advantage. If you shut the door... If you shut the door here and you would have really allowed him to push through and you would have heard the door, you would have seen the door. I think right now you could have done a little bit more in terms of that. Maybe you could have gone for the prone double jump. Do you know what I mean? Just a little bit more action, a little bit more movement. Because I think what happens is when you're prone and he comes through, the aggressor normally sees you first. So I think that's kind of where the danger came through.
I got but you. I'm gonna, let's go through some more positives because you're doing some positive stuff right here look at this you didn't overcommit here this is good you chucked a nade and you backed off this is good stuff like this is stuff you're learning that i've not seen before which is perfect you go through you chuck a nade this is fine sitting in a credit corner again good i was gonna say i like you the thought of you sitting in a credit corner but the problem is um he's probably gonna go for, i'm literally about to say the problem is i don't think he's flanking you i think he's going through the front yeah. so I, I guess a better credit corner would have been the stairs because you from the stairs you can control the gunfight a little bit more do you remember we spoke about controlling the gunfight i think Right now, if you go on the stairs, you can control the gunfight because you can go further up, you can go back down. Where when you're standing in this corner, when you're one shot, the problem is you're not controlling the gunfight because like you saw, if he comes through, he's gonna kill you. So yeah, I mean, not a bad play, definitely better. Again, you went halfway, you did pretty good there, so we'll take it. But now you're gonna spawn probably a little bit. Okay, you got fortunate. I thought someone was at the back. That's fine, that's actually perfect. Now let's see what you do here, let's see what you do here. This is important. This is important how you go through from here. Right, what happened here? You bailed yourself out with your gun skill. Okay. Your teammates are watching the right. Three of them. Three of them are watching the right right now. Your yeah. teammates there? Cool. That's fine. I understand you're watching the right because of the danger, but you have to look. Your other teammates there and this teammates there. You're all three focused on one guy, but no one is looking at your left corridor. So if you don't want to look there, what do you use? Use your equipment. Remember. Okay. So yep. when you go in from here, this is when you need to be like, cool, no one's watching the left right now. I should be that guy. I need to watch the left. I need to chuck my equipment. At least that way I'm narrowing it down, watching the left. Simple as, okay? Should be, I mean, we've gone through that quite a few times. So, but good stuff, good gun skill. You get a nice little two people, unlucky. Uh, again, I think that could have been avoided if you kind of, um, because right there, you see, if you set up a little bit earlier and got that kill, you wouldn't have been weak and you probably could have got this kill here. So I think, again, it's just small, small little changes. But I think you, as a team, you guys kind of committed to the guy on the right a little bit too much. 25 seconds you you spawn quite close so i don't mind you pushing this old hill here this is an okay time to push the hill because you spawn so close i don't mind you pushing it and just trying to get a bit of scrap time but the main thing is hey this is the main thing hey i fully committed now what exactly now you're learning remember what happened last game look at this as soon as it's blue as soon as it's blue as soon as it's three piece go so if in an ideal situation you could go here but if you do want to help them that's fine but that's it only should be here for three four seconds you don't i feel like people have such a like gung-ho mentality where they're like if i'm gonna stay i'm gonna stay the whole time and right here and i'm not saying you have that but i'm just saying people generally like right here there's 20 seconds left you should be like oh i need to go every second look one two three look at this you're going now you're like, okay <laughs> can you see what i mean that like you're going for right here this is where you should make the decision not go for when you're doing a little bleep test now you turn around okay i'll run back like do you have that little decision there yeah. that's what you should be making in your head right i need to go perfect cool and again you're watching the flank that's fine but you should have already been rotated there so it's again you're pushing the back look what you're doing here you're going to the back you're going to the spawn but i mean against a good team there's no reason they're going to be here that like, they're going to be here bro they're going to be set up now look at the score 95 to 68 i'm curious to see the score at the end of this i i feel like somehow you've gone through okay so the teammates are sorry the enemies you're going up against just don't have a good setup so i think again you're not going to be able to learn in the game but i want you to remember against a better team right now because you've given them the setup there's a very high chance they get 60 seconds here so when you're pushing i think right now the punishment isn't set up because the enemies aren't rotating but i want you in your head to give yourself the punishment like, oh shit I, I would have lost that do you know what i mean okay. i want you to tell yourself oh, okay this was a wrong play i want you to really get into that mindset because then you're otherwise what's going to happen is you're not going to get punished for out for not rotating so you're never going to get used to it which is which is normal because you're not used to it because you're not losing spawns like right now look at you're on the new hill so you're saying arvin i'm there like, i'm fine do you know what i mean yeah. but can you see how it was actually a bad play because they had no one here it was fine you were able to run through when technically you shouldn't be able to in my lobbies when i play there's times where if i'm stuck here they have people sitting middle and they actually suffocate you here and i want you to go through that so you know shit because i made that one play i'm getting suffocated but the fact that you're walking into the new hard point you're like i'm chilling man there's no need for me to rotate so i want you to not think like that i want you to think okay let's go okay let's get a w in the chat this is the dolphin i would love to see this is what i like to see b family this dolphin I'm right here and the reason why no one is there right there by the way is because you kind of cleared it out already but i like that that's my favorite dolphin now so did you learn that from my video yeah <laughs> yeah i did actually extra bonus points there for you but yeah the only reason nothing it didn't matter there was because i mean no one was there to be honest but good stuff man i like that so can you see what i mean that you know when i said people are normally here yeah. that's when that dolphin dive would work that's when it would work because you're you're expecting them to be there in this case it didn't matter because no one was really going to be there which is fine again yeah, good I stuff though him, i heard him call through. out like one in the back or something like that so i was like all yeah. right well i'm gonna run oh no it was a great play it was a great play in the back yeah like they tried to challenge me in the that's back 
That was perfect. Nah, I love it. I love it. That's exactly what I want to see, honestly. That's like, it's like my child right there. I'm like, yes, because I, I was going about that spot. So, <laughs> okay, new half point pops. Uh, popped, P1's done. Basically up by 40 points. Um, what's your thoughts so far halfway through the game? You think there's anything that you do, like, specific that you could improve on? Anything doing well so far? Yeah, like right there, I could have jump shot. That would have been... Okay. Well, what about generally, the halfway through the game? Like, what's your thoughts halfway through the match? Um, I mean... I think in this game, like, I was trying to play more of the objective base, which I don't normally play, but I think I had gone okay. through a couple games where, um, like, my teammates weren't playing objective, you know, and uh, I, I usually play, like, the Slayer role, and it just, it, like, when I use ARs, I usually play, like, oh, I'm, I'm just controlling spawns, and when I play yeah. SMG, I'm usually just trying to, uh, try to control, uh, trying to just slay out and, you know, not really worry about time too much. I think this game, I was more focused on time, so I think... If I can just figure out a way to blend it all, um, I think that's my that's my yeah, main which issue. Is fine. Yeah, right now you're doing like parts of everything. So the reason I asked you, okay, for everyone watching as well, this is very, very crucial to my thinking in game. The reason I asked you, how are you thinking now? The reason why I said that is because it's halfway through the match. So you've done one full rotation. What I like to do is I look at the score and I say, right, the way I've been playing, if I carry on like this, will I win the game? Well, in your sake, yes, you will. If the game was very even, if I was you, I'll probably consider maybe getting an assault rifle out, switching something up, just so I was like, you know what? This is getting a little bit mixy. I could I could switch things up. I could like do something different here. So I'm happy with that. You're happy with what you're doing. You know what you're doing. This is fine. 15 seconds later, we're going for the rotation. So this game, you're actually very, very positive in terms of your rotations. A lot better than the last game. Nice little two piece. Perfect. Good stuff. This is what we like to see. How'd you die? Yeah, I'm serious so over commitment again i think again just, i think when you're one shot a lot of i've seen you do this quite a lot you get very aggressive when you're one shot and look at this like you're you're going expecting a gunfight but you're, you're one shot here so you probably shouldn't expect anything i like, just back off play your life a little bit yeah i try to i try to catch people by surprise i think that's why i try to challenge them on one shot because i'm like all right well they yeah. will, they're not gonna expect this and then they they do <laughs> yeah I, I mean i see i feel like most of them to be honest they're going to expect it yeah <laughs> they, okay no no you, no 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 let me tell you why why that's wrong and when it works okay it works on a re-challenge so what you just said there makes sense but not for the you're you're thinking of it in the wrong situation okay the only time people don't let me tell you why no no because I, I know you're i know exactly what you're talking about okay i'll tell you what let me, uh yeah if some for example if you're can you see my screen yeah is it all okay i thought it, it lost okay cool if you're going to be number one and you're pushing this area here, okay? And and I'm I'm number one here. I'm red, okay, I'm red and you're blue, okay? If I'm running away and you're shooting me and I run away, you're gonna probably try to run after me, right? Yeah. That's when the reach out works. Oh, because I'm okay. running away, you you're we're in a one v one, you're not expecting me to re-challenge you, that's fine. But what you did wasn't a re-challenge you just challenged weak <laughs> they're two different things i got you so look at this look at this because look, look at this yeah he made you one shot this guy made you one shot so the guy that's pre-aiming you he doesn't know your health so he has no reason to believe you're not going to challenge him so right there you were like oh i'm going to get them through the element of surprise he's not surprised because he doesn't even know what you're doing he's like bro what are you challenging me one shot so for him there was no element of surprise where in this scenario if you were shoot if you were in a 1v1 if he made you one shot and then you battled then you jumped away he might have run away but can you see the difference he's prepared for the gunfight he's not running away so that's the very key difference in what you said but hopefully that kind of clears it up for you yeah no that makes sense okay so yeah that, <laughs> that makes perfect sense oh yeah, the whole time. So it's like, yeah, like, oh, if you're expecting well, a re-challenge, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, so I'm gonna go push. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you gotta think about it. they don't know you're weak, so why would they like why would they care basically? It's just funny you said that because that's actually um like a quite a popular thing to do the reach out, so I can actually realize that's why you did it though. <laughs> okay, you're pushing through. Let's see what you do here. Okay, again, 20 seconds left is not bad, not bad. You're watching that corner. Your teammates are kind of getting killed in the old hill, which is fine. I guess that they're going to be around there. That's fine. Oh, massive, massive thing here, right? What, can you hear me okay? Because I'm yeah. moving a little bit back. No, no, you're good. Okay, cool. When you've... This guy's one shot. You want him to die. This has to be a grenade. It has to be a grenade, okay? 
you got to trap him and you've got an opportunity to send him back to his spawn. This has to be a grenade. Look at this. You've let him off the hook. You see right there how many, how many seconds you took? Yeah. Like he could have easily got away there. Now, I mean, you did it. Again, this is good. So I didn't realize you did it. My point was how quick you do it. So remember I spoke about speed. I'm going to let you I'm going to I'm going to let you off there cuz you did it. So really good play. I'm I'm actually very happy with that. But you see right there, in my opinion, like that backing off and stuff, I feel like if he wanted to, he could have just dolphin dived away. Obviously, he didn't do it because he was expecting you to pre-aim me, pre him, but just be very careful, like be a little bit faster there, okay? okay. Like maybe when you touch a stun grenade, then you could reload, okay? It's just, again, small, small steps because right now you're reloading, but realistically, if you chucked your nade and then reloaded, you would have got the kill while you're reloading. You see what I mean? Yeah. You see you reloaded, then you chucked your stun. I probably would have done it another way around. But to be honest, very small detail. I'm not telling you you're wrong. Great kill you got. I just wanted you to make sure that you know all the options good stuff i like that perfect good stuff good centering perfect this is good this is what i like to see really good shots there so your shot's looking good right there a little bit more fluidity into your movement this is good this is good this is nice so you see the difference so you're watching that side look this hard point to the last p3 is completely different it's completely different look what you did differently do you remember last time when he pushed you and he killed you? Yeah. Look what you did differently. Sure, sure. You backed off. I mean, I still think you should have pre-aimed him, man. But look at that snap. That's great shots from you. Great shots. Okay, look at that. Look at that two-piece. Why? Because you jump shot him. You camered him. Shit that you wasn't doing last time. Last time you stood on the floor. So it's, it's like you've changed. It's like you've got someone else playing for you right now. This was a great hard point. Really good stuff. Good shit. Chat, give him a W, man. That's great stuff right now. I don't know what, no, I don't know what that guy's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. He was just playing there. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's watching flank, then there's that. I don't think he was watching flank very well. Right, right. Hard right. So yeah, your team's gonna be around, your last guy there. Again, jump shot. This is yo, what happened, bro? This ain't you playing, man. This He's trolling me. me. Who's playing right now? This right. ain't you, man. This can't be. This looks like a guy that's trying to reach his ceiling. Not, not the guy last video told me that he's reached his ceiling. This is a completely different person. Let's go. This is perfect. Look at this. You didn't walk in, you jump around, you fry this guy, look to your left, shout on him. Let's go, man. It's good stuff. Good stuff. And the three pizza. Oh my god, this guy must have really pissed you off, right? The guy that I switched another team. Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> nah, I tried it again, but. That's fine. You spawn out. Okay. You spawn out. Now, this is where you need to rotate. Okay. If you go to the old hill, then the same problem. 20 seconds. By the time you get there, by the time you get there from there, I'm thinking, I'm thinking at least 12 seconds, right? I'm thinking at least 12 seconds. What do you do? Oh, you get the kill. And you still go. You better go left here. You better go left here. No, no. What are you doing? No. Okay, I forgive you. You went right middle. That's okay. No. Where are you going? Don't, don't do it. Don't commit to five seconds. Oh, and you did it. I did it. You did it. You see what? You see my thought process though. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if you see my thought process of what's the point? Like, what are you gonna get from five seconds? Like, it's nothing. Again, it works out. Why? Because your teammates are doing fine. Your opponents aren't rotating, so it works out. You can bail yourself out. But I don't want you to get into a bad habit. Okay. Okay. Don't get into a bad habit because if you're going to keep doing this rotation, then, I mean, you're just going to keep on, like, spawning out and stuff. So you're doing good right now, but you don't want to get into that bad habit. Go through the front. Nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah, you guys should be pretty good to go, though. I mean, I was impressed, bro. I was impressed. Good gun skill, I think, in this game. I think you, you just played well, your gun skill, yeah. What happened here? Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's just very mixy. Good stuff, man. You know what? Fair play. That was good. One yeah. thing I would say yep. is look at your opponents, okay? Yeah. So if you're going to probably win more games like this. The truth is you are. You're better than them. You had a better team. There's a silver one level nine. Um, You did what you needed to do. But what I want you to do is, again, is that all these little mistakes of not rotating. My point is when you go up the level and you go up against diamonds, the next level is platinum, right? Yep. It's gold and platinum, correct? Yep. Yeah. So when you go up against platinums, platinum one, platinum two, that were diamond last season that are now platinums, you're going to play people that know how to rotate, okay? Yeah. So you need to remember all these small, small things you're going for scrap time. It works against a silver team, okay? But as you get higher in the ranks, it's not going to work. So why not get used to it now instead of relying on just pure luck later down the line, okay? I got but, you. I mean... It was, that was a good gameplay overall really good gun skill i thought a lot of your mechanics were better you had good heal time honestly good stuff i just want to see you be a bit more clinical with your rotations and really stop them from progressing that's all it is all these closer games at like 250 to 166 if you can really put them in the 100 point club and really start getting more consistent with that and really starting to like just close teams out you'll be good to go man youtube hope you guys enjoyed this session shout out to bfam again um yeah man hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys for another video tomorrow peace